Hi everyone, my name is Mike. I live in the Cleveland, Ohio area. I'm an HO scale modeler. Um, I'm not a professional modeler by any means. Um, I'm pretty novice really. Um, but about two years ago, I saw a video by Pixel Depot called The Grunge, um, where he made a switching layout that was not a big layout, it was just a little switching layout, um, but it had large operations. And I built that and out of some folding tables and I had it along this wall here. Well, this year I decided that I wanted to expand my HO layout. I wanted to put it in a loop to simulate a main line and then add, um, have the original three industries I had plus another uh, three and then maybe another two over here to have really quite a switching uh, layout that also has a loop, kind of just to simulate a main line, just have trains running in the, loop in the background just for fun. Uh, anyhow, I was inspired by Pixel Depot and Top Railroad when it came to the scenery. And I used folding tables. Uh, I'm not a professional modeler at all. Uh, just someone who's gotten a little bit better at reading a tape measure over the last couple of years. <laughs> um, and we're going to be using Bachman Easy Track and Bachman um, Easy Command. And I run all Bachman locomotives. The reason I do that is I figured if I'm using Bachman Easy Track and Easy Command, I should probably use their locomotives too with all their components. It probably makes things easiest. Plus, I have already had Bachman locomotives and I've never had any problem with them. So there's that. And I like their easy track. It works good when it works. Um, and good luck with it. Uh, I was inspired by Top Railroad to do the scenery. I thought, oh, that's something I can figure out how to do. So I'm new, but I'm sharpening my skills. If I can do it, so can you. I'm not a professional. I'm very, you know, some of these guys on the internet blow me away. That's not me. That's, you know, I don't know. I'm not as good as them, you know, I'm married, I have a cat, I have a job. So, you know, there's all, <laughs> yeah, there's all that, but I can find the time to do a little bit down here and get this done. Last night I expanded with my tables and everything uh, using Homa soap board. You can buy it at Menards, kind of expensive, but it's really good for model railroading. Uh, instead of using plywood and, fo and foam, I used Homa soap board. So, yeah, that's another alternative, um, you know, if you're using tables. So one of the things I like to do is talk about houses and, be, and talk about um, industries. Here's one that I made. And then the vehicles that go along with it. And we'll talk more about that at a later date. Um, so, yeah, if you're kind of new to this hobby like I am, I've always had model trains and stuff as a kid, but if you're kind of new to this hobby like I am and don't know very much and don't know very much and, you know, it seems kind of daunting, well, <laughs> you're in luck because I'm the channel for you because I'm, I'm not real knowledgeable either, but I'm learning a little bit more every day and we're going to do that and I'm going to do this thing one way or the other. So, you know, come along. I'll show you how, you know, a non-professional does it. All right. <laughs> Have a good day, guys.